Hey, what's up everybody? This is Sayyid Musa Kaleem from Epicop and today I'm gonna show you loading controller in Ionic 2. How you can use the loading controller on the button click on or some event. How you could use that uh, I will show you in this video. So it's like a spinner and when you uh, you can see here when you click the button will use that spinner in this application in this ionic project ionic 2 project so I have the button here I have created this button let's go ahead and we'll give the click event to this button and we'll name that and we'll give the method name as start page hit save let's hop to the typescript file and let's scroll up first as you can see here uh, basically I want to redirect the user to the basic or to the first start page which is my home page or which is my first page of this which is the first page of my application the start page when the user clicks the button this button which we have seen just now this button let's go ahead button when the user clicks this button we'll be redirected to this start page so before that I, I, I'll show you the loading spinner when the user clicks that button so for that we need to import loading controller loading controller from ionic angular so this is the import statement for the loading controller so after importing this loading controller you need to us, uh, pass this loading controller you need to pass it as a parameter in the constructor public loading controller which is of type loading controller so as you can see here I have passed the parameter inside this constructor so we have imported this loading controller in home.ts and finally we'll create the start page method inside this start page method because we have given the event here the click event when the user sub uh, when the user hits this button this method will get call so let loader equals to this dot loading controller dot create sorry so we have different options for loading controller the first which I am going to take here is spinner and I'll pass as uh, bubbles the spinner will be in the bubble form it's like the SVG form the spinner form is the SVG form you could give anything I'll show you later what kind of spinners you could use in your ionic project so I have given bubbles here and we have another option called content uh, and we'll see that's awesome and the final option is which I'm going here is 3000 3000 means 3 seconds let's give semicolon let's end this loader part and after creating give loader dot present 
this will present the loader on the page so in the start page method I have created the one loader and I have taken three attributes of this loader the spinner the content and the duration you could also take uh, the other attributes like CSS class and we have different options for this loader and I'll sh show you in the later part of this video so firstly we'll see that loader is present uh, loader will be presented on the screen and after that this dot nav control dot push to the start page so this will push to the start page let's save these two files and let's run this in the browser or on ionic lab ionic serve hyphen l this will run your ionic app on ionic lab so you could test on all three platforms like I said in my previous videos if you forgot to watch my previous videos then visit my channel epicorp and you can explore my ionic 2 tutorial series playlist on my youtube channel and please don't forget to subscribe my channel share my videos with your friends so it is running now you can see here so hope you understand about the loading controller which I have created and I'll show you the different types of spinners for the loading controller you have to visit this documentation ionic framework dot com slash docs slash api components loading loading controller and I'll provide this link in my video description you can get this URL from my video description yeah, you can see here our application is running you can see here we have different kinds of spinners iOS dots bubbles circles crescent the default one and you could also create your custom loader spinner as loading spinner as well like this and if you don't want to show any image or the icon then only then you can also create the text based loading spinner our application is ready so on the first page I have the slider so we need to yeah you, this is our button and when we click this it is showing in the, in the bubble form and if we change this to iOS if we save this then we can see the loading spinner will be like the iOS spinner like you can see here the iOS spinner so you can create your loading spinner like this using CSS or using some image this is this will be your custom loading spinner but the predefined loading spinners are these you can see here so you can also improve this documentation on github you can see here we have different kind of loading options like you can see here the spinner which we have used in in this project the content CSS class like I mentioned before you can give your custom CSS class show backdrop whether to show backdrop or not it is set to true by default enable backdrop dismiss dismiss on page change and the duration so these are the loading options you can explore this on the ionic framework documentation so we'll see the loading spinner now probably we'll see this loading spinner in the iOS form yes you can see here it looks beautiful and the last one we'll use is 
we are going to use is the dots dot loading spinner it's it will be like in this form so hope it is clear so far how you can create loading controller or the loading spinner in your ionic 2 application you just need to import the loading controller from ionic angular and you just and after that you need to pass the parameter inside your constructor and then you can create one method which will be the event for the button or for anything you, you could use anything I have used button in my case and I have given the event method and inside this event method I have created one loader and I have presented in presented this on my screen and I am finally redirecting this to the start page so we'll see now the dots loading spinner It is still running it might take some time yeah it is still running we have to wait for this until it is completed it is ready now we'll hop to the last slide and we'll click this button yeah you can see here the loading spinner is in the dots form so hope you got this and hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and please share my videos thanks for watching this video and i'll see you again